Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, hello. My name is Shauna Marshall. Welcome on in. I already know you're going to enjoy your time here. So please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell. So you're notified every single time I upload a video. Hey guys, we are finally back with another episode of Growing with the Durbins. Y'all already know a lot happened in the last episode. So if you have not watched it, please go ahead and watch it. I will link it here in the eye, but I will give a quick rundown of everything that happened. So we already know my girl is pregnant. She found out that it is Zane's baby. Uh, <laughs> um, Tra uh, Trey got upset kicked her out because he found well i mean a lot happened with trey so trey found out that she cheated found out that she was pregnant found out that it was not his and then got his sass beat by zane <laughs> so a lot happened with him so he took um a lot of his frustration out and basically kicked um yasmin out of the house um, so my girl left in the middle of the night and she had to come to her parents' house and basically just stayed the night here. And we are picking up exactly where we left off. It is the next morning um, and she's still at her parents' house. And now she basically got to break the news uh, to her parents. When it comes to Trey's secret, no, his secret is not out yet. So nobody knows what he is doing behind closed doors because he didn't get caught. <laughs> Zane decided to air all of Yasmin's uh, dirt. So that's how my girl got busted. And now she she's facing the consequences because she actually think, you know, that she was the one that was unfaithful in the relationship and all that other stuff. But Trey's secret will be revealed in due time. But right now, he ain't got caught. So in this episode here, we're going to be working on trying to get our girl back in the house. Um, she's going to have to tell her parents, one, that she's pregnant and two, that, well, one, she's pregnant, two, she cheated on Trey and three, the baby isn't even Trey's. So I know her mom's going to be pissed. Again, these are really like her and Trey, both of their parents are extremely religious. They don't believe in divorce. They don't believe in same sex marriages. They don't believe in having baby out of wedlock. None of that. They don't believe in none of that. So um, it's going to be extremely interesting to see exactly how um, Yasmin mom takes it. I don't think she's going to take it very well at all. So that's what we're going to get into right now because it is time for her to have a chat with her mama because her mama want to know why in the world did you come to our house in the middle of the night? So let's see how this all plays out. All right. So we here, like I said, um, we're here with we are here with her mom, Miriam. I have to put it over there because I be forgetting their names. Like, it'd be a lot of names. But anyway, so they're just now waking up. You know, Yasmin woke up. She made, you know, breakfast and things like that. So she's already eaten. Miriam is just now waking up. So we're just going to go ahead and start it by sharing the big news. Like, and Miriam <laughs> is probably going to think that it's oh Trey's God. baby. So I don't see her being upset about her being oh. pregnant. Um... I don't know. It's storming, y'all. And they're all just acting completely crazy because of this storm. So let me have Phoenix come on in here and get some food. So she's not really interrupting them. And then Miriam, child, she got to run everywhere because she's scared. I'm going to cheat her hunger real quick because I need y'all to have uh, this conversation right now. I really don't need y'all to talk about or do nothing else. Girl, bring your butt in here so this woman can talk to you. Like, I know it's storming and I know you scared, but you'll be okay. Now y'all got to get up to have a conversation. I swear. So <laughs> Girl, not you hugging your mama. Go ahead and share the big news. She'll probably be excited that she got another grandbaby on the way because she think it's Trey's. But it ain't Trey's. Let's sit down. Cool, you Okay. Oh, she's... Mama. okay, see, I knew it. I knew she would be excited. <laughs> I knew she would be excited about another grandbaby. But the thing is, is by is who the grandbaby is is by. Okay, Yasmin, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Oh God, I don't need them to fall behind in school. But for right now, 
sis like do we even have class today i don't even think we got class today no thank god okay so i am about to just make it sort of seem like that she's going to tell her mom about because i don't think there's a way to be like yeah mom i also cheated on <laughs> oh we can tell about the temporary period period you know that's what i'm about to do we are about to tell her about our temporary separation so I can be like, yeah, mom, that's actually yeah. not it. So um, she's like, well, what had happened was, <laughs> tell me every time somebody get in trouble and your mama look at you with that look, you'd be like, see, what had happened was, what had happened was I had a slip up with this guy named Zane. We actually slept together. And then um, Trey found out that I had an affair and when I told him about the pregnancy, he wanted me to go and get a, um, he wanted me to go and get a paternity test. We got the paternity test. And now it turns out that the baby is not Trey's. The baby is Zane's. Trey kicked me out. He demanded a temporary separ separation. And that is why I came to you guys, his house in the middle of the night, because I had nowhere else to go. <laughs> she just like blurted all that out. That's what we going to say. <laughs> okay. So now let's see how her mom takes this news. She's going to be like, what? You're breaking up? Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Your relationship didn't seem to be that great. Of course, it's not that great. You literally made them get married. What do you mean? What do you mean? You made them get married. And she has like no thoughts, no moodless, anything about anything that Yasmin is telling her. <laughs> She's like, yeah, your relationship didn't seem that great. But I mean, I still don't believe in divorce, Yasmin. She was like, yeah, but the baby isn't even Trey's. She's like, the baby isn't Trey's. I don't know what to do. And I feel like Miriam is just going to be like, you have to work it out um, with Trey. Like, that is your husband, first and foremost. Um, let's see. Um, okay, but why is this still here? Like, you already told her about it. Like, I feel like we should have different little menus that pop up, like, once we tell her, once we tell about it. But I feel like Miriam is going to be like, look, you're going to have to get things together with Trey. That is your husband. I don't believe in divorce. You can't just sit here and, and like stay here in, in hiding, basically. What does it say? I'm so sorry to hear about your separation. These are difficult times. But in the end, it may be for the best. And all hope may not be lost. The, oh, my God. Is she telling us that she actually is OK if we divorce Trey? I feel like she may be okay if we divorce Trey. Oh my God. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is like talk this out with Trey. I feel like she's just telling her this because she already knows she's upset, but they don't believe in divorce. So I don't know. <laughs> Yasmin is like, I feel like you're just telling me that mom, you know, doggone well, you don't believe in divorce. Like, I feel like if I get a divorce, then you're going to be looking at me all crazy. What boring discussion bored by adult. Oh my God, y'all see th And this is what she goes through with her mama. This right here is what she goes through with her mama. Never is there to listen to her and really give her some sound advice. She, your, your daughter is telling you about her separation and she's saying that she is bored. You need to help her fix. She was like, I'm going to help you fix this um, relationship with Trey because that is your husband and that is what you need to do. You have to get things together with him. She's like, I know that I'm trying. She's like, OK, well, then you need to leave me and go and fix things with your husband. Oh, my God. Where are they going? Get some food. Are they leaving to get some food? Are they for real? I'm done. They are leaving to get some freaking food. Like, <laughs> okay. All right. So they're back. And now her friend is calling. Remember, um, Yasmin in the last episode, she spoke to her friend about Noelle. Noelle is the chick that actually started all of the drama. And Noelle is supposed to be Yasmin's best friend. Come to find out though, Noelle 
it Noelle got a thing for Trey. So she tried to like hit on Trey. Trey was like, nah, I'm good. And then she started spilling the beans about Yasmin and Yasmin being pregnant. And oh, child, watch the last episode. Anyway, so Yasmin then got with her other friend and like started talking about Noelle and what she did. And so this friend, I forgot her name. That's why I'm saying this friend. But this friend... <laughs> It was like, okay, I'll talk to Noelle and, you know, see what's going on. And so now she want to respond and be like, I spoke with Noelle and find her quite pleasing. Girl, we going to dump all y'all. We going to dump all y'all sasses, okay? Like, all of y'all. I am done. But anyway, what does this say with Trey? Try for baby with Trey. She's like, the only way to make this right is to have this baby that I'm pregnant with now and then get pregnant again by Trey. <laughs> She's like, that's the only way I'm going to be able to make this right. <laughs> I am done. Anyway, girl, she do need to go um, and visit Trey. Like, we, we have to go back home. I don't want Phoenix to go, though, because I feel like there's going to be a whole lot of arguing or a whole lot of just not coming together so um i'm gonna have her go go with trey hopefully trey is home because i do know he has school but my girl ain't living there but hopefully hopefully he's there so let's go ahead and travel to technically our house and and see if trey will let her move back in because she cannot stay here with her parents like that's her home too okay I think I saw Trey in the house. It looks like he's sitting there. So, like, let us in. Dang it. All right. Okay. Oh! Oh, my God! Not him wanting to get up and throw the... <laughs> Not him wanting to get up and kick over the trash just because we walked in. Hear us out, Trey, okay? Like, please. Okay, let, let me see what my girl can do. Like, you, you gotta do something. Okay, let's try to calm him down because we don't need him all upset and all crazy. Like, Trey, apologize to him. Girl, like, we have to do everything for this man right now. Oh my god, he is just like not budging. He's like, no, no, you're not about to sit, apologize again. He's like, I'm not about to sit here and accept your apology. You had another baby on me. Not only did you cheat, you got pregnant by this man. Oh my god, Trey, come on. Trey is like, no, that's what you wanted, right? You wanted him, so go be with him. Oh my god, bro. He is just like, nah, I'm not having it. He's like, I'm not having it. Oh my god. Man, get in here. You're literally, you're not about to kick that over. Okay? Calm down. Calm down. Come and sit down. Are you literally not even gonna talk to her? He's like, technically, I just really want my baby. Like, bring me Phoenix and you can go wherever you want to go. She's like, Trey, we need to be adults about this. We have to talk. We're married. This man want to kick. He really want to kick over this trash can. Like, I'm going to have to let him criticize life choices. Be like, you had it good here, Yasmin. I would do anything for you. And you go and cheat on me and then get pregnant by another man. She don't know what to do. Oh, my God. Refuse to forgive for cheating. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Okay, blame for relationship problems. Be like, you know what? After all this time, I really thought it was me, Yasmin. But it's you. You're the one who made this relationship just horrible and a pain to be in. She's like, you're not a saint yourself, Trey. I'm pretty sure you got secrets. They're just not out. I really don't think this is going to work. Then he's like, he's going to be like, what did I do so bad to make things go left for you? Like, why would you do this to me? 
Yasmin's like, I don't know. Okay, she said, no need to ponder about what pulled us apart. It's done. And Harley could be undone, y'all. I think it's done with them. Like, they don't want to work this out. Like, <laughs> are done. Oh, my God. They are not even trying to work this out. Not even for Phoenix. Like, what? Oh, my God. Divorce? <gasps> No, I feel like Trey really doesn't have a reason to apologize. So I'm not going to have him do it. Um, Let's see. Like, well, he doesn't have a reason yet. He's going to rehash old arguments. Man, you're not going to kick it over. Okay, stop trying to kick over the trash. The trash didn't do nothing to you. Okay. So come over here. He's going to rehash the old arguments. This man in this trash can, like, he's not going to be satisfied until that trash can is knocked over. He's going to be like, this is all you, Yasmin. Like, why are you still here? Why are you still here? You don't have this house anymore. This is my house that I'm going to stay in with my daughter. And you can go and be with that man. He was like, I can't believe what you did. You made this relationship miserable. You had this man jumping me in my own house. Yes, was like, I didn't tell him to do that. She's like, you want to blame me for everything? Like, you were just perfect. All those times that you would leave and stay gone for hours. Where were you? He's like, this ain't about me, Yasmin. This is about you. <laughs> She's like, okay, I get it. Trey, we're done. It's over. He's like, yeah, it's done. He's like, I don't think that I will ever be able to be with you again, Yasmin. I can't forgive you. I want a divorce. Oh, my God. Before they even got a divorce, they despise each other. Like, damn. <laughs> I've never, ever had Sims that cheated on each other actually start to despise each other. Like, other than Amina and and uh, Drew. But, I mean, that was like a different level of type of hate. He was, like, abusive. But, tra like, regular couples that, like, cheat. I've never had them despise on each other. Despise each other. Like, Trey is like, I'm done. I don't want to be with you anymore. I want a divorce. Like, and that's it. Yes, man, it's like, that's Sorry. fine by me, Trey. I don't care. We can have a divorce. Do whatever you want, Trey. I don't care. Oh, my God. And he's like, and as for Phoenix, she's mine. He's like, I want my daughter. Uh, let's see. Trey or other Sim involved must move out and create their own household first. They do. But they do. She's not living here. Is it because I'm controlling her? I mean, controlling him? Okay, can I have her do it? Okay, she can do it. Okay, so she could do it, but it's, it's going to be like he did it. Because I feel, oh, maybe it's because I'm not playing Trey, technically. I really need to play Trey because I feel like, um, I feel like Trey is going to get custody. Decide on custody of child. Go to court over custody. Okay, so let's decide on the custody for the child. And I feel like Trey is going to be like, Phoenix is my daughter. She's going to be staying here with me. That's it. Like, she's not going to be tossed from house to house with you and this person. Who will have custody of this child? I think it is going to be Trey for now. Because Yasmin got kicked out. She doesn't have a place to go. She knows that she can't stay with her parents. Like, they not going for that. Like, y'all saw the conversation with Miriam. She was just like, I'm over this conversation. I'm bored. Um, and she's going to have to go basically and live with Zane in that, like, <laughs> in that house. And that's not a place for Phoenix. So, I feel like Trey is basically putting his foot down. It was like, this was your decision, Yasmin. So, I'm taking my daughter. And if you want to fight me and go to court about this, we can. But I'm pretty sure the court will rule in favor of me. So he's like, I want my daughter. All right. So it says custody for Phoenix has been decided. If she was not in the correct household yet, she has now moved. Oh, my God. So she was with her parents. Um, 
are they gonna bring her here? Like, oh my god, they freaking brought her here, bro. Like, Trey is like, so that's basically it. Uh, Yasmin, there's no other reason for me and you to talk. We don't need to be around each other. If you want to see uh, Phoenix, you can call me and I will have my parents meet you somewhere. But she, he, <laughs> Trey does not want uh, Yasmin to have any sort of visitation right now. Like she cannot do anything because she doesn't she doesn't have anything. She doesn't have her own house and she's going to be staying with a guy that lives in the freaking uh, in a in a trap house basically. So oh my god. <clears throat> oh my god. He's like, "Okay, so what are you doing here, Yasmin? You can leave. I don't want Phoenix to see you like this." So please go. Yasmin is like, how could you do this to me? Like, I know what I did was wrong, but you've literally, you're taking everything from me. And Trey is like, do you actually think I care? Can he like kick her out? Can he be like, just leave? Yep, go away. He's going to be like, go away, Yasmin. Just go away. I don't want to talk about this anymore. <gasps> Okay, so she has to leave. Like, the last thing we want is for him to, like, freaking call the cops or something. So, we're going to come here and we're going to um, hug our baby. And basically, no, no. You don't need to watch her while we just simply sit here and um, give her a hug goodbye. Like, seriously? Oh my god. I like really like this is just like really playing with my emotions. Like she he is taking her baby from her. Can we give her like a snuggle or something before we go? Because he's literally about to kick us out the house. Okay, let's give her a snuggle while we can. While he literally sits here and watch her. She's like, I'm so sorry, baby. I love you so much. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's like, Mama's going to make this right for you. I promise. I'm going to come back for you. <gasps> she said, too. Oh, my God. This is heartbreaking. This is heartbreaking. Phoenix is like, where are you going? Yes, it's like, I got to go, baby. She's like, I have to go. Look, look at Trey. She, he's like, you can put her down now. <laughs> he's like, you can put her down. Oh, my God. Okay, let's, um, can we change her diaper? Like, is she stinking? Like, need a bath? Let me control her real quick so I can see. <clears throat> so, yeah, she needs a bath. He's not going to allow us to do that. I already know. So, let's just go ahead and leave her here. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god, look how she looking at her mama. Like, where are you going? Oh, Yasmin, girl, we got some work to do, mama. Let's go ahead and put her down. And we have to go. Oh, God. Okay, all right, let's stop controlling Trey. Like, everything for Trey is just bad right now. So, we just need to give him time to cool off and we have to go to the next person house because we have to ask Zane if we can move in with him because we have nowhere else to go. Okay, now first off, not my girl change of clothes when she get here, but okay, ma'am, Pam, go knock on the door. She's like, oh my God, I cannot believe I'm about to be living here. I mean, well, since you really don't know yet, it depends on what he say. <laughs> which I feel like Zane would I mean Zane been wanting her all along that's um that's really why he did what he did because he wants her so okay so let's uh let's come and sit down and let's have a conversation with with Mr. Zane oh my god every man that we know is like upset he thinking about handcuffs in jail okay <laughs> like Okay, it says heartbreak fueled by fury. How could that Sam betray Zane like that? How dare that Sam show their face? 
Okay. Okay. First off, we do have to apologize to you, Zane. We're sorry. She's like, I'm sorry. I had a lot going on. I didn't think that you would show up and tell Trey everything. Hey, he hugged her. That's a good move. Good move. Good move. He's like, listen, you know I forgive you, Yasmin. I'm not going to sit here and throw you out. But what you did was wrong. Like, you made me seem like I was just nobody. And nothing. Like, I want you for your money or something. She's like, I know that's not it. I'm sorry. She's like, I'm sorry. I have nowhere to go. <laughs> okay, so she basically has to sweet talk him. So... He doesn't seem like he's very upset, but she's very, like, she's still sad. So, she's just going to be like, I've, I've just been through a lot. Trey has divorced me. He's taken Phoenix from me. Like, I have nothing else, Zane. And Zane is like, you have me. And you have the baby that you're pregnant with. And you know you're going to get Phoenix back. Let's see. Can he, like, ask her to move in? I know that's an option, but I don't think it's an option because I'm not, um, whoops, I'm not the right person because I'm not, uh, really playing as him. I'm just controlling him. Oh, ask to join household, period. Wait, will she join his household or will he join hers? Click OK to go to split. OK. Oh, my God. So he actually he offered. He was like, you know, you can move in here and stay with me. And I think she's saying yes. That's what we going. That's what we going to say. So she's going to move in with him. Oh, he got money. But dude, you got money and you living like this. Like a uh wall. -huh. Oh my god. Okay, so my girl is officially moved in with Zane, but I feel like she's gonna be like, okay, listen, we really need to take this seriously. We have a baby on the way. Do do you think this is the best place for us to be? Like, um, where's like the plan for pregnancy and crap like that? Maybe we can't do it because she's actually okay with it. Ask to marry, tell Zane, blah blahzy blahzy. Um, <clears throat> and I'm scared to let him do it because she may not accept it and he flirty so let's see if she will allow him to kiss her hands but if we gonna stay here like we got some work to do like we, we are about to redo this house I feel like he doesn't want to move but we gonna redo this house he's gonna be like you know I got you He's like, whatever you need, I got you. But that ring, you probably need to take it off. Like, <laughs> but she loved her ring. Like, you want her to take this off? Look at her ring. Like, are you kidding me? She adores that ring. Like, maybe she'll take it and put it on another finger. But, uh, no. So, I think he is going to be, like, patient with her. And, um... Because she, he knows that she's going through a lot. So he's going to be like, look, I'm going to be patient with you. I know that you're going through a lot. But just trust me. I got you. Whatever you want to do to this house, we can do it. She's like, oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you so much, Zane. And she, he's like, I got you. Like, yes, man. You should already know this by now. She's like, okay. I just, right now, though, I, I got to get some homework done because... I don't need to fall behind in school. Okay, so we need to have her do some homework. Um, Zane, calm down. Zane, you need a job. Oh, she still got her car and she gonna keep it too. We not gonna give him the car. Like, dang, he took the house. I feel like that's only fair. <laughs> I feel like that's only fair. He took the freaking house. All right, so let's have my girl do some homework. <clears throat> I feel like Zane needs to get on the straight and narrow. Um, sort of like, so maybe we can have him like join like the criminal career because my guy just ain't no shirt and tie type of guy. Like he, he is not about to do that type of work. So like he ain't no detective or doctor or scientist like that. That's not him. He a criminal. <laughs> 
he's a criminal, okay? He's none of this other stuff. I feel like none of the other stuff fits him. It's either not working or it's doing some sort of mastermind stuff. Like, and he needs to be up. Like, he got a hundred and some dollars in the bank because y'all know he he been he been a rug seller and all that other stuff. So I feel like this here needs to be promoted. Like, he needs to be a petty thief or some oh a ring le ringleader. My guy is the ringleader, okay? And he works from 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. Period. Period. Like, that's what I feel he needs to be. Like, he is not going to be that business type of person. I feel like that's not legit. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Zane. You can't be sitting here talking to her, though, dude. Like, she got work to do. And when she has work to do, I'm going to need for you to just, like, back up. Go and have yourself a quick meal. Come and get you some. I don't know. He don't know how to cook. He has no idea how to cook. So, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. There you go. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. There you go. There you go. There you go. Girl, finish your homework. We do not have time. I'm so done. Oh my god. Okay, so I do like I feel like she she left Phoenix without really talking to Phoenix, but she can't talk to Phoenix there. So I feel like all of them is gonna have to meet at maybe um blah 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 blah. Probably Trey's parents' house, maybe. So she can actually like spend time with Phoenix and stuff like that because we can't do that at the house. And uh, Trey is not comfortable with Phoenix going with going with Yasmin alone right now because he doesn't want her around Zane. So I don't know. It sucks. I don't know how to handle this one. Y'all leave some comments down below. Like uh, Trey does not want Phoenix around Zane. He does not trust Zane. And y'all know they definitely cannot have no sit down conversation like adults right now. That's like a no no. That ain't happening. But y'all, Zane is, I feel like he is so happy right now, being that this is what he wanted anyway. But not how she was like, technically, I wouldn't even be in this mess if it wasn't for him. Like, I feel like that's what he she thinking. But she can't say it right now because. One, she's pregnant with this main baby, and two, she needs somewhere to stay. So, uh, want to meet new people? Yashmin should consider joining a university organization. Y'all, do y'all not see how much my girl got on her plate right now? And y'all want her to join some? Dude, will you please leave her alone? I know you happy that she here. I know you are. But, bro, go sit down. Like... He is too happy Yasmin is around him. She's like, I know Zane. I just, I have to finish my homework. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> all right, let's see what all this is saying. It says the end of a marriage is a sad event in any Sims life. Straighten up your act. Yasmin needs to make an effort if she wants her relationship to go back to normal. To avoid more trouble and perhaps a breakup, she had better start romantically engaging with other Sims. Too late. It's too late. A child on the way. Yasmin want ch wants children and is happy to know one is on their way. Second trimester is in 19 hours. Okay, cool, cool. Oh my God. It feels great to spend time with someone with whom Yasmin feels a deep connection. I think that was for Phoenix. I think that was for Phoenix. Oh, my God. What do y'all think that this baby is going to be? A boy or a girl? I don't know. I feel like it's going to be another freaky girl. I feel like Yasmin is going to be the, the, the Sims that have nothing but girls. I guess. I don't know. But that's what I think. Y'all tell me. Okay. So, I think she's done with that homework. Let's see if we can call. Um... Oh, plan a stay over. I mean, I wish we don't even have a like we don't have anything for her. So we're going to call Trey and just be like, Trey, how is this going to work? Like, I want to see Phoenix. Like he Trey is going to be like, you just left her a few hours ago. Yes. And then like, why are you calling? 
And she's like, yeah, but I miss her. I need to see her, Trey. And Trey gonna be like, okay, maybe another day, Yasmin. Like, not right now. Why? What do you want? Yasmin is basically begging right now. She's like, please, let me see Phoenix. What does this say? A new life within. Oh, at least she's happy about this pregnancy, though. Like, she's going through a lot, but she is happy about this pregnancy. So let's go ahead. Let's use the restroom and then let's cook because... This man can't cook nothing. <laughs> so I don't think he's a vegetarian. Um, I still don't think my girl's like skills is up that much. So we just going to do some meatballs. And Trey is just literally over here. Like Trey is like creepy. Like why are you just sitting here? <laughs> he's, just, like, he's literally just sitting there like, you know, I don't know. Maybe he just like, he's just happy. Because Yasmin is here. That's what we going to say. I just don't know what to do with this house. Like we're going to have to redo this house from the outside in. Like all of this trash needs to go. Like why is it here? The graffiti. Like we have a house next door that got graffiti all on it. Like we really just needs to move. Like why are we raising our daughter in this type of neighborhood. Like that's that's what Yasmin is thinking. I mean it's pretty over here. And then over here you know. We, we just turn it into. Like I don't know. I don't know. But Yasmin we're going to have to make it work sweets. We're, we're going to have to stay in this house. Because Zane is like no. He He's like no. We ain't leaving this neighborhood. Like. <laughs> He ain't leaving this neighborhood. This is where all of his stuff go down. And he ain't leaving. Girl, you ain't that good of a cook. Calm down. You can't be doing all these t tricks. That ain't gonna work, sweets. Okay. Zane, come on. Look at him. He just literally just stares at her. Come and get you some food, sir. Please. Oh, my God. Like, he love her, that's for sure. Oh, all right. So, let's have these two eat. And then I'm going to let them get some sleep. And then we're going to wake up tomorrow. And hopefully, my girl is in a better headspace. All right. My girl is up. Of course, she hungry. Pirate day, child. Anyway. All right. So, come on in here. Let's use the restroom. And then brush our teeth. Take a shower. Let's make some breakfast. Let's do all the good stuff. Okay, so she did wake up in a good mood. So that's good. My girl did wake up in a good mood. So you know what? We making steps. I feel like she is like sort of sad that the relationship with her and Trey is over because they have been through so much. And they were together for a while. But at the end of the day, she never really wanted him. And he never wanted her. They like was forced to get into that relationship. So she didn't go back to her parents' house, so they don't even know that she's divorced. Um, and I don't I really just don't think my girl care. Let's take a shower first, girl. Dream of the sea. Free so why why why? I hate that so much. Okay. When she get out the shower, we will make some breakfast. Um let's just do some French toast and a family size. Let's just do that. I still got this hair on her legs. I need to take that off and I keep forgetting to do it. I keep forgetting to do it, but I'm going to do it. So it's fine. It is fine. All right, girl. Where are your clothes? Uh, nope. See, okay. I'm going to do it right now. She just made it difficult. Okay. That looks so much better. Now we can resume our French toast. It's going to be so crazy not seeing our baby every day. Like, I don't know how we going to handle this. Hate them shoes with that outfit. I need to find you another pair. Okay, whatever. I'll do it later. Anyway, it's going to be really hard for her when it comes to not seeing Phoenix. Like, she used to not seeing Phoenix, like, on, like, some weekends because she'd be with her mama. But, or either she'd be with Trey's parents. But this is like a whole new level. Like Trey got custody. Everything goes through him. So I don't know. 
I don't know. This is a different. This is a different. I don't. This is different. Let me just say it's different. <laughs> like, all right, girl. Let's get you something to eat. Zane, are you going to wake up, my guy? I think you'd have had enough sleep. So come on, let's wake up and let's get you in the shower. And let's get you to brushing your teeth. And all that other good stuff. And then you can get you something to eat. Whatever. Like, whatever. Why is the... I'm about to say, why is the sensor thing all the way out here? Okay, y'all. So, as my girl is finishing up her breakfast, we still got Zane in the shower. She had, did receive a call. I had to block it so y'all couldn't see it. Um... But she did receive a call from someone that she knew from high school. And this person is asking to meet up with Yasmin. And she's like, oh, why? Like, we haven't talked in God knows how long. And we really didn't talk then. So Yasmin is trying to figure out, like, how did you get my number? Like, what, what, what is it that you want? So the person is basically like, look, if you can meet me somewhere, I need to talk to you. So let's just meet at like 930, almost an hour or something like that. And this person is basically telling Yasmin exactly where to go. So Yasmin is like, I mean, OK, I'll I'll be there soon. She's like, I mean, I got a lot of schoolwork to do, but if if you want to meet, then we can meet. Yeah. She's like, can you tell me what this is about, though? The person is like, no, I think it's best that we just have this entire conversation over the phone. Like, I don't think it's best for us to do this. Basically, this person is saying, I think it's better for us to do it in person and not over the phone. So, Yasmin is like, what the hell? Like, what? And here he go. Huh, who was that? Like, he just like, He's like, that person show was loud on the phone. She's like, yeah, they want me to meet them. So I have to go in and, and meet this person. She was like, yeah, it was a friend from back in school, but not even a friend for me. She's more like Trey knew this person, but I really didn't. So, okay, so we need to go ahead and ask him to accompany the childbirth, too. So that is done. Um, And then we'll head out. Your niece, Rebalfa? Okay, and how many more hours we got until we got five hours? So maybe we'll just meet with that person later. I would really love to go ahead and get an ultrasound right now. Uh, I guess we can wait, though. I guess we can wait. Okay, girl, let's come on. Let's go out. I just really want to know what she's having, but I mean, we'll, we'll figure it out sooner or later. Okay, we're going to go by ourselves. Like, last thing we need is for Zane to be with us. And I don't know what this person want, but Zane is extremely hot-headed and short-tempered. Oh, shit. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Just <laughs> that animation so broken. Okay, y'all. So, my girl is here at Bubble Tea. You know, this is usually, like, her meetup spot. So, the person that called her asked um, for Yasmin to meet them here because they was like listen there's something that i need to tell you so sitting next to her of course we got carter and if anybody already knows y'all should know exactly who carter is but if you don't let me tell you carter is trey's secret okay that's all i'm gonna give away watch the other episodes anyway so carter was like hey you know <laughs> He's basically like apologizing to Yasmin. He's like, hey, I heard about your divorce. I heard that Trey took Phoenix because he found out that, you know, you you cheated and now you're pregnant with Zayn. And the look on Yasmin's face, she just can't believe that he's literally out here just throwing all of her business out like that. And uh, Carter ended it was like, you know, I feel like that's really messed up. But there is really something that I feel like you should know because I don't think it's right what um, he's like. I don't think it's really right what Trey is doing to you. And it's sort of hypocritical. So there's something that I really need to tell you. And I feel like that is where we're going to end it on this episode. Remember, I told y'all that I don't want to squeeze everything in into one episode because 
it's too much to impact to like to to bring out with these characters and it's too much and I don't want to throw it all into one episode so we will start the next episode off with Carter uh, getting some things off of his chest Yasmin is just basically right now she doesn't know anything about Carter and and Trey she's just upset that Trey is actually going to Carter and telling her telling him all of her business like that's why she's so upset she doesn't even see anything else coming of what Carter is about to tell her like all of that is going to be in the next episode but I definitely definitely hope that you guys enjoyed make sure to leave some comments down below when this news hits what exactly should Yasmin do when it comes to Phoenix because at first Trey was throwing all of this stuff out about how Yasmin was the one who cheated and now she's gotten pregnant and yeah she cheated and yeah she's still pregnant but now his secrets is about to come out too so I feel like it needs to be a battle of the courts uh, when it comes to Phoenix but in order to do that Yasmin is also going to have to show that she's fit and show that she has a, a stable place for Phoenix and all that other stuff y'all leave me some comments down below on what we should do because my girl will be finding out everything about Trey in the next episode we're also going to go ahead and find out what we're having in the next episode as well um whether it's a boy or girl so all of that will be revealed too so I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell and I will see you guys next week with a brand new episode bye guys